So let me rewind here a little bit and tell you what is going on. First of all, I probably had no business in this trail, especially with my skill level, and definitely a 300 pound dual sport. Though I'm sure a skilled rider will be able to do this trail with my KLX. We're trying to find a way down. This is one of the entrances to Independence Trail, a place where rigged out jeeps go, which they oh, yeah. end up saving me at the end of the trail. I might make this into two or three parts since it was a fairly long day. Independence so, Pass or, no, we are down trail. here looking for a good line for my KLX 250, which I had trouble finding <laughs> since all the damn rocks look the same. Holy shit. This is insane. <laughs> Wow. So, Independence Trail is considered one of the toughest trails in Colorado, and by looking at these rocks, I see why. Whoa! Yeah! Woo! So, we're out here doing the hardest trail possible in Colorado called Independence Trail something I don't want to be on So we were following a group of riders, hoping we could tag along and ask for help if needed, but they decided to turn around since they warned us this trail is super exhausting and the entire way is nothing but large rocks. I'm guessing most dirt bikers just play around in the lower areas and entrances, and now I see why. What do you want to do? I can go down a little bit further. You have to. I, don't, I just don't want you to uh, get pooped. Huh? I don't want you to get pooped. Oh no, I'm good. If it's like this, I'll be fine. Okay. Mostly uh, rocky like this. Oh, I almost ate it. I'm not going to be talking a lot because this is, this is very windy. Windy. Fuck. Very right, close touch. So the further along we got in the trail, the more difficult it became. Rocks started becoming larger and there was less places to pick a line. I would say 80% of this video is just us waddling around, hoping we don't fall. <laughs> but eventually I would like to do this trail again and try not to put my feet down. However, I might just stick to the entrance this time. Tiny powered bike. <sighs> Good thing I have these tires because they stick. I think I accidentally went down the hard way. Oh shit. Why did I go down that way? I'm trying to do this without putting my feet down. Yeah, like this part is super easy now compared to the bigger rocks. I'm not even putting my feet down. So at this point in time, we were at the halfway mark. 
We were contemplating on going back, but it would have been going back uphill instead of downhill. This entrance here is going down in elevation, so it was a bit easier. I decided to do the entire trail since we were at the halfway mark, at least that's what my GPS said. And boy, that was a huge mistake. Fucking enduro hell. So one of the biggest issues for me was the power of the KLX. Certain times I just needed power to go over the obstacle, and it was not enough on the KLX 250. In this section here, I was giving it tons of throttle and clutching of course to keep that power up and just would not get the rear wheel to spin. I'm hoping once I add the 50 sprocket it will be able to get enough power to get me going. Anyhow guys I'm going to cut this video short and will release part 2 since I do not want to make this video too long. Anyhow stay tuned for part 2 and check out how the other jeeps end up saving me.